Welcome to the Rides by Chuck channel, where we delve into the car model building world here on YouTube. Grab a coffee, sit back, relax and check out today's show. Okay, 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 let's get some light up here on the situation, my friends. My new light that I showed you in my last video, a spotlight, I put a different bulb in it. I put a 100 watt bulb in it, so now, holy... This thing is bright as holy Hannah hell. If there is such a thing as holy Hannah hell. Because I just made that up. So, you know. Uh, what do we got today? We are going to... I thought I had my body. That sounds a little creepy. I thought I had my body easily accessible here. So, yes I do. Um, today, we are going to prime this GTX. We're going to do the... Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's the words. We're going to prime the GTX today, but first we're going to wash her down with soap and water. We're going to take it to the car wash. Alright. Yep. Some people really hate your choice of color. They hate it? Some people. Oh my gosh. This is the best color. <laughs> I mean, seriously, when I said I was going to wash it, I just thought... I mean, I was just thinking that... Ooh, that's cold. <laughs> It was just those areas, you know, that had the mud? Yeah. Flipped up. Time for a rinse. Even though I sanded this with soapy water, I'm still going to because I think I got my... I went and spilt a piece of food on a piece of this. So I had to wash this down. So I have to wash this down, sorry. I'm trying to wake up uh, 7 in the morning, 6.30 actually, and I'm cooking dinners for the day. Now we're going to run a test. I've already primed this. So I'm going to try the inner panel black and just to see how that turns out. Now I'll turn the camera around. I'm going to have to do a little bit of body work. Nope, wrong fender, right there. Got a little dent there. So we're not going to be able to paint this this week. I doubt it. Because on Tuesday, three, four days from now, I'm going to get a chance to do some painting. So it's not going to be this kit. I like to let my bodies air out, dry out, let all the solvents release before I paint them. I, I let things sit at least a week and I'm okay with that. I'm a patient dude sometimes, most of the times, and I'm in no hurry to get this done. So that's what will happen. I think what I'm gonna clear is the CUDA that we got on the build right now, the green CUDA. That's why I did the cr green bikini wash video. Yeah, that was that reason. <laughs> So besides clearing the CUDA, I'm going to do this. It's a comeback of the shop truck group build now that I think I've got all the parts and pieces for it. In that, we're going to end up painting this. I got a pearl that goes over top of this and then clear over top of the pearl. So that is the plan of attack there. I have decals for this made up by scale speedworks thank you very much there my friend i'm gonna owe him something i'm gonna send him something one of these days when i get a chance so that's the plan of attack there we're gonna get back on this a little bit so my friends first gtx time okay shake 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 now if you remember last time i had this unknown brand of gloss black we don't know if it's lacquer or enamel but we're going to spray it over that sample of primer sealer that we put on. I did do the engine bay and also the bottom side of the hood. So now I'm just going to tape the hood on there and prime all of that body as one ish. Uh, and, but for now, I'm going to do a quick sample of this just to see how this turns out. If we have problems or no problems. So that's the first thing, even though it's dark out, being so early in the morning. Okay, check it out. Here's our conditions. See? Painting conditions this morning is kind of cool. Just above zero degrees, but dark as freaking hell. Okay, I shot my first coat of black. Just very light, just to give it a tack coat. That's what I call it. First coat is a tack coat, and it's went on fairly decent. 
and it's not lifting the primer sealer so that's a good sign and it's laying on fairly good and I didn't go heavy just light so you still see a bit of gray but the second coat will go on a little bit heavier so I like it and the other thing I like about this is the smell is not bad it's not a strong scent I can barely smell it so my mind yeah I probably lost all sense of smell anyways yeah the the black laid down fantastic perfect perfect I like it there is a bit of gray showing it could use a third shot but not on the engine bay I'm gonna say screw it we're gonna give the executive decision here just to go for it the way it is let things dry off however the body probably three coats I'm gonna guess so we'll see how that turns out but not today today's just primer so let's get that outside and get that ready to go a few inches later okay we get the old balmy outdoor paint booth today backyard porch that's the trick nothing fancy here today kids uh, it's not gonna go heavy primer we're just giving it pretty much a light dusting kind of sorta it's coming out very light so As I say that, it kind of goes heavy. Actually, not really, but yeah, looking good. Looking good. Even the crows agree with me today. At least it's all not raining. A little bit of fog and a little bit of coolness. What is the temperature? It is around 38 degrees, 3 degrees Celsius. Something like that, give or take. Okay, so from the licks of things today, I think we're satisfied with our progress on the paint and primer. So it looks like relatively dust free. Laid down fairly decent. I'm wondering if, ooh, there is a little bit of crazing. How about that? Son of a rat. I didn't get that on the inner bay. Hmm, we might have to do a second coat there, kids. But we'll let it dry first. Yeah, there is a bit of crazing. That might be a too strong of a lacquer base primer. I can't tell right now. We'll let it dry off. My previous sample seemed okay, but maybe it's just the the way it went on and the coolness of the air. So, anyhow, one step at a time. Okay, we're gonna fast forward from seven eight in the morning till one thirty at night. <laughs> yep, every I put a second coat on the engine bay. That worked out about what I wanted to and the other thing was I put a second coat of primer on here and it did not craze the plastic. It went on perfect actually. I think what was happening was the solvents were coming out and the primer was bonding to the surface. So it's fairly decent. It's somewhat dust free as far as I can see. I like it. But the best thing about this primer sealer is it goes on a little bit thinner. and. I hope this camera is picking that up, but look at the emblem. It's not built up around the emblem. That's the thing that I like. Some primers, because primer is actually more or less a filler, you know, it, and it will hide some of the details. So look how crisp the door lock is there, the light, none of it is filled in. And I don't want, ooh, it's still almost tacky, holy crap been like all day I just try to take my finger off and like stuck to it a bit oh wow look at yeah I see oh no I thought I left a mark there maybe I did so yeah anyways I'm doing blah 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 so we are gonna have to fill that dent in like I say and I did wipe it down with a tack rag this I've had this for I don't know how many years and I just wrap it in this sealable bag and I just able to use it over and over and over the only thing I forgot to do is that front panel. Uh, son of a gun. I should just spray it as an experiment black without primer. See what happens if it eat, that black eats that plastic. How strong that is. 
So my friends, even though it is one at night, I'm on to a different coffee. Looks like my coffee cup needs a good washing. Jeez, Williker Chuck, what are you doing? Uh, I think we'll end it. Somewhat, maybe, sort of. Right about here. But I'm going to put at the end of this video a little bit of my day biking around. It took not raining, so I'm able to get the motor-powered bicycle out. Cheers, my friends. Thanks for watching. Stay awesome. You know what? It's funny because the minute I take the bike out, somebody stops and chats with me. Every time I take it out, everybody talks to me. It's so funny. It gets a lot of attention, that crazy bike. Surprise, surprise. Okay, cheers. We'll see you next video. On to... I don't know what next. Monday. I'm going to prepare for the paint on that shop truck group build. So that... I'm going to do it, tomorrow's Monday, so that'll give me Monday to prep and do GTX work, and then Tuesday I'll do the paint, because they're away, they won't complain about fumes and me spraying and all that stuff, what the little people can't see, they can't complain about, right, so, yeah, cheers again, stay awesome, see you next video. Sunshine, no rain, that's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing because I haven't taken the old bike out for a ride. The gas powered bike, which is soon to be disassembled, and this motor is going on to another frame. Look how dirty it was from riding it in the rain and the snow. It needs a good cleanup. <coughs> Not today. I also have to get my uh, Honda CT out. What is it? 90, 110, something like that. My little Honda dirt bike. Anyhow. Let's go for a ride and chuck things out today. Oh, running along and died and it's like, what happened? Oh yeah, I forgot, I shut the fuel, fuel shutoff switch off. It's my anti-theft device, so it'll take a second to get gas into it. Oh no, maybe not. Maybe I lied. Okay, let's go for a ride, kids. Gotta hold my bread and camera at the same time. So, whoop. How do we do that? Oh yeah, look at the sun is full blast today. After 40 days and 40 nights of raining, this is beautiful. Oh my god. River level is very high with all that rain, not a surprise. So, out in a boat, buzzing around, having fun. Stop for coffee with a friend. Wow, the water level is just flying here. Look at this. Yeah. Bring your raft, dinghy. You could go uh, white water rafting down here. <laughs> Holy man, it's swirling. Look at this. This is the fastest I've ever seen it. Interesting. It's a floating dock. So, yeah. Oh, there's a duck floating down there. Huh. Cool beans, for me anyways it is. They know I'm here. Hey, what are you doing? Hey! <laughs> Look at a bunch of otters. That's pretty cool. See, you always see something down here. Huh. Wow, well, swimming and having fun in the current. Just talking about the current and look what happens. Down they go. They're right. They don't need a raft to go. Son of a gun, you get the video of the sky. Hold on, Let's try this again.
Oh, this is our street. Oh yeah, we are videoing. I thought it stopped videoing. I know we're going a bit downhill. Don't mind the bumpiness. There we go, park it in the back of the truck. Van, sorry, excuse my French.